Right, I uh, thought that I would make a video, finally, uh, showing how I've hooked up the TV to automatically switch um, to the live camera feed uh, when, slash if, it goes into alarm. So, right, here it is normally from our Digibox, which has no signal, unfortunately. But pretend this was, you know, just normal TV. And you sat in the living room watching, I don't know, the football or what, the news or whatever. It's a bit pointless because I never really watch TV, but anyway, you know. So you're watching TV, someone breaks into the shed, right at the back of the house. Um, as well as the internal sounder going off, which is not hooked up at the moment, the TV would switch to a live feed. And... Basically, to demonstrate this, I'm just going to put the DVR into alarm from this keyboard, which you can do, um, and then you'll see what happens. So there you can see, the TV has switched to the uh, extension 1 SCAR input, and is then displaying a live feed of the, the uh, camera that's in the shed there. Uh, once the alarm clears, it goes back to the second Sky input, which is the Digibox, and all is well again. Um, so, you know, you don't need to do anything to see if it's a, a false alarm or anything if you're already watching the TV. Um, and that is why it's quite good. Um, I'll just show you that again. There you go, see? And that works on all the cameras, so... Camera 3? No, uh so if camera 2 went into alarm, it would do the same. Um, the reason camera 2 would go into alarm is if someone threw a brick at it, it has a vibration sensor inside, so if it gets attacked, it will go into alarm. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, you can go to the... Uh, uh, you can go to the actual input of the DVR. Um, and this DVR input is the uh, input that it goes to when the sheds there goes into alarm. Um, and the reason it doesn't look like that is because I've got it set up so when a camera goes into alarm it full screens it. And when it comes out of alarm it just goes back to the uh, multi-display. I've got a slug on my front door camera there, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, sorry this video is so long. In fact, I'm just going to show you how I've done it. Okay, so at the back of the TV here, we have this SCART connector, which I took apart and cut the other end off. I cut the other end off it, and then now we have a video, uh, and we have two power lines. Now the power lines, when you put 12 volts into them, tell the TV to switch onto that SCART input. Uh, the reason SCART has that is, say you have a TV that's got three SCART sockets on the back. You have a Digibox, a DVD player, and I know, a PlayStation or something. When you turn one of them on, it sends 12 volts through the, through the SCART cable, and the TV automatically switches onto that input. So when I discovered this, I decided to use it to my advantage. And the alarm output of the DVR, as well as switching on some sirens, um, it, it also sends 12 volts into the TV, um, which tells the TV to switch onto it. So it's actually really, really simple. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope the video wasn't too boring. If you want a more in-depth, detailed video or an instructional video on how to make one of these little SCART connectors so you can do what I've just done, uh, then let me know. It is really easy, so I don't have a problem uh, making a video on how to do that. But obviously only if you guys want to see it. Otherwise I won't waste my time. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.